I haven't seen this, actually. I've just seen this oh, now. Oh, yeah. Activision Blizzard acquisition moving fast, according to Microsoft. But halfway done? Wow. So they say it's fast, at least, for an acquisition of this side. Yeah. And we are entering the <laughs> beginning of the middle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting. Now, of course, you know, there is the uh, the FTC with their antitrust review. Um, they're hoping to have this closed the first half of 2023. It's yeah. interesting. And, you know, there is one... Um, could you pull up the uh, current price of Activision Blizzard? I can indeed, sir. Reason I say that, uh, whoa. Mm, yep. <laughs> Reason I say that is Warren Buffett. <laughs> Where'd all your money go, boys? I say that because of Warren Buffett. Uh, because mm. Berkshire Hathaway put a, they upped their stake massively in what would be, uh, you know, some merger arbitrage, mm. right? Because, you know, if this deal goes through at 95 bucks and you hold shares, your shares would be bought out for 95 bucks. Right? So if you buy in now, you know, maybe there's 20% there and go away. <laughs> uh, so for a lot of people, maybe right now they're looking yeah. at a, they want to hedge against inflation and they're thinking, yeah. hang on a second. Am I going to get a, okay, so in and around a 20% gain, am I going to just get a 20% gain yeah. from, you know, in one year? I mean, I know the S and P has been completely fucking insane with its, uh, you know, this crazy bull run that we've had in the market. Um, but I mean, annualized what the S and P is like nine and a half percent. Um, I think it's a bit less when you kind of do the whole, you know, controlling for inflation thing, but, uh, yeah. So for, for a lot of people, it's like, it, it's interesting. You buy in, this goes through, free money. You just collect 20%. Literally free money. So I, I suppose perhaps in this is there, um, are there some concerns included in this price? I'm, I'm not exactly sure how all of these uh, things work. Um, you know, you, you could see that, well, I guess it's just where, where do people want to uh, put their money, I suppose. And perhaps uh, in the current environment, there'll be some really bullish investors who'll be looking at some of the growth stocks that have fallen by like 70%. Yeah. And they'll just kind of, I don't want to, I do not at all want to promote timing the market because no. that is how people lose a stupid amount of money. It's yeah. very responsible. It's very short-term thinking. I but know. I wonder if there's a lot of people who are seeing the likes of, uh, I don't know, their, their Palantirs and their maybe Tesla right now even, which yeah. I think is closing in in like 50% of what it used to be at its all-time high. They're maybe looking at those companies and thinking, I could do really good here. Uh, and I don't know. I, I mean, basically, I don't really understand why uh, this is not a higher price. I have to assume it is because some degree of the risk of the merger not going through is priced into this. Um, I don't really know. I don't really understand. I'd say, um, you know, you'll probably see headlines of stuff just saying like, the market has decided this. I saw a whole bunch were like, Warren oh. Buffett has betted against the market. The market's not one dude. <laughs> the, the market doesn't, that's not how it works. That's what they want you to think. Yeah, the, the market is just, that's how you narrativize it. But the market, what is that? <laughs> it's just the result of individual trading activity from, you know, from people and institutions. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I just thought it was interesting that this still, it looks like a situation where we're having like, what, 10% infl like inflation's pretty big. A lot of people are worried about that. And it's like, just not put your money here and collect 20% when it goes through. I don't know. It's seems like, pretty big brand. seems too good to be true. I don't no. know. But then you look at what Warren Buffett did and you're like, well, why the no. fuck did Warren and Charlie put their money in there? Here's the thing, right? Mm. Right. So inflation is going up. So what if you just wait until your money is inflated as much as inflation will inflate the value of money, which is definitely how it works, and then throw it in at the last second? I think that actually might be it. People are just like, I'll just wait and see. It's staying at 70. I'm assuming once that hits like 85, then it immediately springs to 95. Because everyone goes, oh, fuck, free money. So it's that kind of thing. We're just sitting, all that money sitting on the table. It's like the first person to reach in is going to like cast the, the vote yeah, or whatever. So there's all some of that. Yeah, everyone else is like, I'm not going to touch that until, until a while. I'll maybe invest my money in all these growth stocks now. Can I get an extra 20% of my money before I put it in here to get 20% on that? Because the deal is not going away. They're not going to finish it one day. Like this this price will, if it goes up, it'll slowly go up. It's not going to explode to 95 in one day. So maybe that's just it. Everyone's watching like, I'll just bide my time. I don't know how money works. So I'm just making shit up. Who knows? Who knows? 
Uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Is there anything? Is there anything else? No, I've already talked about all of this. Yeah, no, it's going to be done eventually at some point. Unless it won't go. <laughs> That's a good point. Microsoft will own Spyro and Crash. Which is certainly interesting when you look at the PS Plus lineup not having Activision games, but let's not yeah. think of that. Spyro and Crash. Two fantastic games, of course, yeah. that do come from the Xbox Minus One era. Microsoft's very unknown console. Oh, yes, the Xbox yeah. Minus One. The Xbox Minus One, where Spyro and Crash originally came out. Yeah. Very good. Very good. There we go. Okay. Stonks! Market! Money! Money make money! Work no make as much money! Is that a problem? <laughs> is, that, is it all going to crumble? <laughs> How about we just don't think about the cost of living crisis or inflation or anything economical because it's just it's not very nice. Let's talk about video games. <laughs>